This video will help you assess your own horse's back for tenderness of the major joints of the spine. Back pain in horses can be caused by poorly fitting tack, poor riding, fitness, or training, an injury to the vertebrae, pelvis, or supporting soft tissue structures, or from compensatory pain from an injury in the lower legs. Signs of back pain include behavioral issues, such as evasion during grooming or mounting, sour expression, pinned ears or tail swishing, bucking, or just general tension. Suboptimal performance is also a sign of back pain. Loss of impulsion in dressage horses or during collected maneuvers, jumping horses that lose their bascule and start to jump flat or even refuse to jump, reining horses that are not able to slide as far when they stop, roping horses that pull up before the steer is caught. These can all be signs of back pain. The remainder of this video will cover another sign of back pain, which is overt sensitivity to digital pressure. All too often, people test for back pain inappropriately and get a false positive response. Running a sharp object, such as a pen or needle cap, down the back will elicit crouching in most animals, even those without back pain. Sharply poking or prodding an area without having initial contact with the finger on the body will also elicit a false positive. If someone pokes you suddenly with a finger that is not first already contacting your body, it feels much more invasive than if they had gently placed a finger on you and then pressed in. There is an automatic defensive tightening or clenching when poked. To avoid a false positive response, it is necessary to apply pressure in the correct location and in the correct manner. This video will help you assess your own horse's back for tenderness of the overlying musculature as well as the major joints of the spine. There are three major locations to palpate when testing for spinal pain in horses. These locations correspond to the most mobile joints in the horse's back. Digital pressure over the thoracolumbar joint, the lumbosacral joint, and the sacroiliac joints can help determine if spinal pain is present. The thoracolumbar joint lies underneath the cantle of the saddle. The iliopsoas muscle complex, which pulls the entire hip and hind leg forward, originates underneath this joint. Pain in this region can speak to saddle issues or issues in extension of the hind leg. The thoracolumbar joint is most easily found by touching the soft part of the upper loin and moving your hand forward until you run into the last rib. Follow the back edge of this rib up to where it intersects with the spine. You won't feel the rib all the way, as the head of the rib is buried underneath the long back muscle. Just follow the same line until you intersect with the spine. This is the thoracolumbar joint. Feel the width of the vertebrae. Place your index finger about one inch off the edge of the vertebrae. If you are on the vertebrae, you will get a false positive. Place your other index finger in the same location on the opposite side. Make sure you have your fingers perfectly perpendicular and just touching the horse, but not yet applying pressure, so the horse knows you're there. In a smooth, steady, sinking motion, push straight down with your fingers and count 1001, 1002. If there is pain in this joint, the horse will crouch and flinch. Release the pressure after two seconds. The horse in this first clip does not have back sensitivity. April Johnston is palpating for the last rib and then sliding her fingers towards the spine until she contacts the vertebrae. Then she spreads her fingers out two inches to either side and then presses down with steady, even pressure for two seconds. Try this again? Yeah. Notice this was the same mare that had crouched and displayed an irritated expression when a pen was used to perform the back test. Using the same technique and pressure, this next mare displays mild sensitivity to thoracolumbar joint palpation.
To find the lumbar sacral joint, follow the line of upward growing hair just in front of the flank to where it intersects with the back. Be about three inches off either side of the spine as the lumbar vertebrae are quite wide. To test for pain in the lumbar sacral joint, you will use the exact same pressure method as for the thoracolumbar joint. So show the hair growing up here. This mare displays extreme sensitivity to lumbosacral joint palpation. Watch as April finds the joint by following the hairs up to the spine, spreading her fingers about three inches apart, and pushing down with steady, even pressure. The mare buckles from her fingers. To test the sacroiliac joint, you must find the tubercoxi of the pelvis. This bony prominence sticks out to the side of the horse's hip region. Curl your fingers around the top of the tubercoxa and sink your fingertips steadily in like you're going to try to pry the bone away. If the horse has pain in the SI joint, he will crouch and buckle. Be sure to test both sides of the pelvis individually. This first horse does not react at all as April presses against the tubercoxa, which puts pressure on the sacroiliac joint. The second mare mildly flinches as April presses against the tubercoxi. We hope this video helped you learn techniques to monitor your horse for sensitivity or pain so that you know when to call your veterinarian or equine body worker.